They're definitely this side and they're definitely still in the zone that they was in before. I went away and I made some caster hook baits. I got some plastic zig screw, uh, sorry, plastic bait screws, some zig foam, and I've glued three imitation casters to the top and then I've whittled down the foam just so that they pop up. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get it out and have a look. Um, but yeah, finally off the mark. <laughs> finally off the mark, part three. Second session. She's a cheese. She's a cheese. She's a cheese. She's a cheese. Well, I was packing up, rods on the deck, and the left hand one's gone again. 43 pound. Can you believe it? I was literally five minutes from reading that rod in. So they're the only ones really that I want. Um, we've probably got two, three months of, of fishing left to do it. So tall ask, big order, but who knows? Well, welcome back to the fourth and final part of the Delwa hunt for a 50. We're now into winter believe it or not. It's now the 2nd of February and we're back down here for our first 48. So I actually came on the 2nd of January and the lake was completely and utterly dead. We weren't doing any bites, it was freezing cold, nothing was being seen or caught. And I fished the Friday night and packed up on a Saturday afternoon. So that was the end of that. I took the Friday off work in a fortnight's time and was due down on the Thursday. But come Monday, Emery sent me a video and the lake had a lid on it and it stayed that way for a week. So that pretty much ripped off January. Into February now. And like I say, in a fortnight's time when I should be back here, I'm out in Gigantica for a week. So that's February writ off. And then we've got two weekends in March. Nothing like a tall order. 348 hours in winter on the Dell to bag a 50 that I haven't had yet. And yeah, nothing like a challenge, eh? So got down here today midday and the lake's busy. Scott's in the ramps, he's been campaigning it. So he's been in and out of there. Emery's in the deeps. There's someone in white bags and three on the lodge bank. So only feasible option was to get down into the airfield. Southwesterlies are smashing down here. It's about 25 mile an hour winds. It's very windy. 12, 13 degrees, pressure's through the roof at 10, 30, 10, 35. So it screams zigs. So that's what I've done. I've put three out. One at 10, one at nine, one at eight, all tipped with maggots. And yeah, just gonna go into the evening. I'll probably bring them down about a foot, foot and a half, come last light. And yeah, we'll just stay up, see if anything shows and we'll put them in the rings. Um, I think that's gonna be our best bet. Like I said, I've been away for a month, so I'm kind of out of touch a little bit. Nothing like a challenge, but it's looking cock on and we can only but try. So, I was going to check in tomorrow, but I thought I'd do it early. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning if we haven't had anything through tonight. The demon, helpless, defeated, holding on to something I've needed. I'm looking for a reason, finding what you're wanting, a demon. And you took it all away from me. And you took it all away. Welcome to a rapidly approaching Saturday afternoon. It was a blank night last night. Sat up until about half one. Didn't really see anything at all, even though it was kind of hard to spot with the wind. This morning, about 10 o'clock, uh, left hand rod slams to the floor. So it runs out there and hits it, but there was nothing there. A couple more hours and then I noticed that Rob was packing up in white bags. So packed down, I've made the move. Um, I can fish a little bit further in here. I'll get a lot more water. And also I can have a social with Emery. We can get a takeaway tonight and yeah, it's a little bit more comfortable. The wind's coming across me now instead of into my face. And like I say, I've got more water to play with. So I've made the move around here, nice and quick. Dispatched one at 13, one at 22, and one at 25. All on six foots. Um, and that's how we're doing it going into tonight. So 
yeah, I'm gonna have a nice tidy up now, get myself all set and sorted, get the kettle on, um, we'll order a takeaway. And that's how we're doing it. Unfortunately, um, there's 11 anglers on and there's not been a bite. So that tells you all you need to know. But yeah, we've still got a few hours. Um, I'm off about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So it could all change like we know and um, could be a good session. But right now it's looking pretty bleak. Um, so if I don't see you through the night or in the morning, then I'll catch you on the next one. Um, and that's gonna be in March. So yeah, stay tuned. Well, welcome to the second from last session of part four and what ultimately will be the end of the Dell Hunt for a 50 series. Now for you guys, it was just the last clip that I was down here, but for me, it's been an entire month. Obviously we was here first weekend in February. It's now the first weekend of March. Um, I've been to France, I fished Gigantica. Um, we won't talk too much about that. I had a couple, it was the only one that caught, but nothing to shout about really, but it was an enjoyable week away with the missus. Following that weekend, I had some busy work with Atomic. Then we had to do the big one show with Atomic and obviously, yeah, it's all been that in the background. So it's been nigh on a month and I've come down here today after work and it looks absolutely amazing. Um, water level's right up now, which is good. We've got some depths, I like that and the weed should be pretty much dead or dropped all in our favour. Now, we've been away for a month. Far as I know, there's been a couple of stockies out on zigs, but that's it. So yes, prime, ready to go. Now, today it was blowing a very cold easterly down to the lodge, and I made the decision to come round to airfield two, get on the back of the wind. So one, it's nice and comfy. Two, I've got an amazing view of the lake. And three, I just don't see them being on the end of that cold wind, I really don't. 12 degrees tomorrow, I'm hoping it stays pretty much flat calm up this end and yeah, it's all good, looking good and primed really. So I've dispatched a couple of zigs, one at seven foot, one at eight foot, and I found a spot to me right, which is pretty much edge of my water between airfield two and three, or the pump rather, um, which is three is known as. And I put a solid bag on that, uh, usual solid bag tactics, some pellet mix, little bit of rock salt and the corn toppers from proper cart baits. Again, as usual, the whiskey goo's gone in that bag and I've put that out to me right. Two zigs out in front of me and that's how we're doing it going into the first night. So yeah, like I say, been away from a month so I'm gonna stay up late tonight, keep my eyes on the water and plenty of coffee drinking because it is cold and lo and behold, I brought a brolly, didn't I? Just got fed up of sitting in bivvies to be honest with you, so that's it, it's body season. Clubbing season's around the corner and yeah, it's time to get busy. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow, but tonight it is literally gonna be laying here watching the water and I need to see where these fish are. I've had too many liners on this middle rod to not move this right hand rod in the last sort of hour. I put it at 16, 16, seven. So I'm gonna wrap this one up at, mm, so 15, seven. Drop it back, a wrap. See if it makes a difference. I'm just gonna put it just off to the right a little bit. Still PVA on this one, that's how fresh they are. I literally redone both this morning. Weed is still very present as well. Very present. All right, let's go wrap this up.
Well, is that what I think it is? Good boy. <laughs> Wanted that, didn't she? Jesus. Yeah, I'll go up a bit that. 37. Yeah, boy. Never seen it. Never fing seen it, bruv. You reckon? I've got pictures of it on my phone. At 37? Yeah. I've got pictures of her on my phone. I think the stock head scales here. I don't remember it being fully. Nah. Nah, she ain't got nothing no, up to it. That's what I thought, that's what I thought, yeah. It's not, it's stopped, isn't it? Same strain though. Definitely, mate. She's got like a row, a gap, and then a row on one side, and then the other side. It's not, it's not got them two little yeah, stops, so I thought it was stopped. Yeah, she ain't got, this one's got these two, better, look. What is this? Two dots, yeah. Baby stocky, mate. Baby stocky. <laughs> She'd do it, wouldn't she? Well, after getting them liners, Little adjustment with the zigs. It's only been in the water half hour. 37 pound. Can't really call it a winter fish because it's pretty much spring. But that has made my weekend. I'm gonna get some photos. We slip her back. Don't actually recognize this fish. We thought it might have been a big stocky really down, but she's got the dip in her back and the big plates, but she's definitely not got the same scale pattern. But yeah, I'll take that any day. Let's get some photos and get her back. Oh mate, she's fucking beautiful, isn't she? Isn't it? Get a couple on the other side just for Jake. Mate, what a f***ing fish! Where's that come from? Where has that come from? Oh, shit! <laughs> f***ing hell! We're in the winter bangers. <laughs> I mean, winter, is it? Gulp. She looks big. Gulp. Sitting there sulking. Well, what a way to open the winter account then. I say winter, it's pretty much spring now, isn't it? But obviously the way this video was set up, 
it was sort of done around the um, the season. So got to give it until the end of April to finish the winter part. But yeah, not complaining. 37 pound, doesn't have a name. I spoke to Jake. Um, it hasn't done 40 yet, so that fish hasn't been given a name. But yeah, it's, it's got to be from the same strain as the big stocky because it's got the same dip in the back, the big heavy plates, massive shoulders, head. Uh, the big stocky don't have the, the floppy tail that this one did, but yeah, what a fish. Um, absolutely buzzing. So not long after dealing with the fish and getting the zig back out, um, I decided to swap the middle rod to another zig. So there's two and I continued to get liners on the right hand rod, which was the last rod left on the bag. So I've had that in and I've put that out on the zig as well. There's two five foots, one five and a half, all black and red foam tipped with a rubber maggot. And yeah, confidence through the roof. I might be a little bit greedy, but do you know what? I really did feel like there was another bite to be had. I was still getting liners, so they're definitely still there. And I can't imagine them going too far to be fair. So confidence through the roof for tonight. Got to leave them out. We've got rain coming from 11 onwards and it's all night and all day tomorrow. So it's going to be a wet pack down. But like I say, you've got to be in it to win it. Confidence through the roof. And yeah, we just keep plugging away. So I'm going to get dinner on now. If I don't see you through the night or in the morning with a fish, then I'm not going to film in the morning because it's going to be chucking it down. So I'm going to want to get gone. I'll catch you on what will be the last weekend of part four. And in my eyes, it's all to play for. So I'll see you hopefully in the morning. Good morning and welcome to the last episode of the Dell A Hunt for a 50. This is going to be the final 48 hours of the winter part. So I got here yesterday and it was a bit rainy, a bit drizzly. The lake was very, very busy. Lodge bank was full, airfield was full, road bank was pretty much full. There was something in the point. So I had to do the long barrow trip round to the ramps. The path's flooded in places, not flooded, but it's waterlogged. Didn't bring me wellies, so the air max got trashed. But I come round and I dispatch two rods long on zigs at 25, both at seven foot, and I put one short to my left, 13 and a half wraps, pretty much gherkins water. Um, the fish have been in one and two in the airfield for the last two weeks. Um, there's a lot of fish in one in the corner. And yeah, I couldn't really get anywhere near them. So I thought the next best thing, fish long out of the ramps. It wasn't long. Uh, we had a belt intake on the right hand rod, absolute melter. But I picked up into nothing. Now the lead was still on, the hook was fine. So in my opinion, I think it was a trailer. I think someone last week lost one on a 10 foot zig. So not good, but yeah, um, I think we was doing wrong. So I put the rods back out, obviously got dark. Didn't really see much. The wind started to pick up a little bit, but about half four, five o'clock this morning, uh, the right hand rod was away again. This time we connected, big ball of weed around the leg clip. Um, I managed to slip the net under her. She's 28 and a half pound. It's a recap, I believe. Um, I'll have to double check. It was dark and I just wanted to get her in a sling, really. But I'm pretty sure it's the one that we had out of here last year uh, on the summer part, I think. Um, the 20, one of the, the two 25s we had, the Starburst one. Um, so she's resting up in a retainer. I'm literally just waiting for that sun to poke up now. And then I'm going to get her out, get some snaps done. The rod's back out. But... Yeah, amazing start, aftermark early doors. Joe is set to pack up in two today, and there has been a lot of fish down there. So if I don't get another take by the time he goes, I may move around now. Um, I'm not too sure, but I'll see how I feel in a bit. Um, but yeah, wind's got right up. It was flat calm around here yesterday, but the wind's sort of cutting into a westerly now. And um, yeah, I'm feeling it. So quick cup of coffee, get my coat on, get warm, and then, I'll call Emery round and we'll get this fish out and we'll do some snaps. Yeah, she's definitely the one I had in summer. Well, as promised, 28 and a half pound on the zigs. She's very lively. She's been in the sling for about 45 minutes. So 
Aichi is going to help me some photos and that is a lovely start to the final session on part four. She's a mega fish and she's putting on weight. Absolute testament to them looks as well. Big balls of weed, massive fight. She weren't coming off. Let's get some photos, son. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Mate, look at these fucking fins. Is this your better side, darling? Don't matter if the mat's in. Oh. Yeah, perfect, bro. She looks huge. Go on, boy. <laughs> yes, bro. Well, this is potentially my last update. And I've got to say, it's a little bit bittersweet. Obviously the sweet is, I get to get stuck into my angling this year, no filming, and yeah, scale my kit down, and just really focus on my fishing, because I've got one year left basically to try and catch this big stocky. Um, and then I've got my eyes on a few new waters, and potentially moving on. So, that's obviously the sweet. The bitter is, I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed getting back into the filmmaking. I've really enjoyed creating it again. And, and looking back on your angling throughout the year, is something you don't get to do every day. And you can learn from it, and definitely makes you a better angler, I think. So I'll be taking some of that feedback into this year's angling, obviously where I went wrong last year, and hopefully we can put it right. Got to say a big thanks to Mick and Jake as well. Thank you for the permission. I hope I've done the place justice. Um, it's been a pleasure. The place really is a mega lake and it's got incredible stock. And if anybody gets the chance to get a ticket, jump on it, because there is some real surprises to come this year, I do believe. Obviously, I've got a little bit of filming to do throughout the year for Century, so I will have the cameras, and if something does happen this year and we do manage to nail it, then I'll try and do my best to put a film out on it. But yeah, I'm really just gonna sit back and get stuck into it. Um, so yeah, this is the potential last update. Not really seen much today. Uh, it's been pretty quiet, sun's been in and out. I have seen a few in the corner, early doors after we let that fish go, but other than that, nothing. Um, there was three, three or four fish out of deeps, all stockies, and Emery had a 33 last night out of one. So zigs are definitely the way forward. So I'm just gonna stick at it, keep at them. Um, I've got all three out of 25 now. Obviously, if something shows tonight, then we'll put it in the rings, but other than that, it's just hoping for that morning bite again, and maybe just one last roll of the dice. Do I think a 50 is going to come out on a zig? No, but anything can happen. Um, so yeah, got to say a massive thanks to everyone that's tuned into the video all through the year. Thank you for your messages. I really, really do appreciate it. There's a lot of work that goes into filmmaking, trying to make good content and do good fishing as well. It's a lot. So yeah, reading their messages, all them inboxes, it really does make it worth it, guys. So thank you very much. If you're only tuning into this episode, there's an intro and three other parts to this series, so head back over to the channel and check them out too. And drop me a message, let me know what you think. Um, in terms of Lee England carp fishing and what's next, I've got my eye on a few waters, few targets. Could there be a film? Who knows? You'll have to stay tuned to find out. But with a bit of luck, this isn't my last update, so maybe I'll catch you in the morning.
We'll be right back.